First of all, Akabozi. Mwaga Akabozi? Do you want some Akabozi is light talk? They have, you have allowed me. Recently, I was invited to Kenya to attend the swear engine of His Excellency Arab Ruto. And because they think I'm an old man, one of the senior ones, they made me sit near the, the high table. And who sat next to me? Two women. Very powerful. I had seen them on, on the TV that they were involved in the case, the constitutional case. I said, I'm going to how can I sit near these powerful women? I was shaking. <laughs> and I told them, of course I was teasing them, but I liked the sitting next to these uh, uh, ladies. And I'm glad one of them is here today. You are most welcome, Martha. Now, I'm very happy to take part in this, in this dialogue, because I know what it is all about. I have been involved in it for the last uh, 62 years, more or less. I was in the university with the, your seniors, boys who were with us and girls, who decided to become lawyers. And eventually, many of them became uh, judges. And some of them chief justices in East Africa, like, like Chief Justice Benjamin Odoki, he was one of those. You had, uh, in Tanzania, we had Ramadan. R Ramadan became uh, Judge Muku, Ramadan, he was with us in the, in the university. In Kenya, we had the likes of Amos Wako and uh, Lee Muthoga. These were our, our groups. So we were discussing these very topics. And I'm very, I'm very lucky to, to come here to share with you My contribution to this debate is to advise you that we may, we talk of conservation of nature, of the national parks, we conserve. To conserve what is good. Now, I think one of the topics you need to deal with, and this we keep talking about it, but sometimes it's not very clear to others because 
during those days of the students, we took different path. There were some of the boys and girls who are taking the, prof the what they were calling the professional line. I am a lawyer, I, I, for, I, I, I concentrate on the law. But for us, we are saying no, the law cannot be not in a context. The law must always be in a context. Many of the values you, the lawyers, talk about, the modern lawyers, are really middle class values. Values of the middle class. If you go to Europe, where some of, of the partners come from, those values were not always values. At one time, they had the same sort of problems like you are talking about here. Women being marginalized, all those things you are talking about, they, they went through it. It's not, this is not an African problem. It is a problem of the human race. But what has happened in Europe in the last 600 years is that there has been social economic transformation. The society has changed. If you go to Europe, if you, 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 you go, because we studied all these issues, there's, there's nothing we don't know. The, if, for instance, you go to 1400, what was the structure of the European society? You'll find that they had the aristocrats, the feudalists, they had the peasants, the farmers, and they had the artisans, the blacksmith, so on and so forth. But you come to 1789, during the time of the French Revolution, you find now the society has metamorphosed. I like to use that word, social metamorphosis. Like the, the insect, that insect, metamorphosis. It's the same organism, but it goes through different forms of life. It is an egg. The egg hatches and becomes a caterpillar. The caterpillar becomes a pupa. And then the pupa becomes a mature butterfly. We call that, in biology, metamorphosis. Similarly, society has been metamorphosing. So when you come to the time of the French Revolution, and that's why really you should take this subject seriously, not just study and forget about them. Because they have got uh, implications for whatever you are doing. So by the time of the French Revolution, that three-class society of Europe the aristocrats, the, the peasants, and the artisans has changed into a four-class society. You now have the aristocrats, the feudalists, you have the bourgeoisie, that's a French word, which those from France can help you with, meaning the middle class. This is a new class. It, it had never existed in human history. This was new, the middle class. How were, what was the life, livelihood of, of the feudalists, feudalists dependent on 
it was dependent on obsuru, rent, rent from land. Taking rent from the peasants. But how about this new force, new group, the middle class, the bourgeoisie? What were their livelihood based on? It was based on profit, the concept of profit. The difference between the input cost and the final pro price, the profit. You have got a new structure of society which now depends on profit, not on rent, but on profit. And it's a dynamic group. Because of that, they were very dynamic, they were very active. Then the third, third class were the, the proletariat. Proletariats were the working class. In Europe, you had people, as, as Karl Marx said, who had nothing else to sell except their labor. They no longer, have, had, they no longer had property, they no longer had what, they, they could only sell their labor and be, and be paid for it. And what were they depend, dependent on? Wages, wages, salaries, umsara. Uh -huh. Then you still had the, the peasants. They were still there at that time. And what were, their what, were, what were the peasants living on? They were living on their sweat minus what the landlords took. So that was the structure of the society in Europe by the time of the French Revolution, more than 200 years ago. If you go to Europe today and you look for peasants, they are no longer there. You try and go there and say, I'm looking for peasants. They are not there. They have disappeared. Even the feudalists, the ones you call feudalists, are no longer really there. So what you have now in Europe is a two-class society. The middle class and the skilled working class. So my, my challenge to the African uh, lawyers, uh, and intellectuals is to ask you a question. Are you going to maintain a backward society, a pre-capitalist society, and then somehow you transplant the middle class values and you think they will stick? This is the challenge you should, you should address. I, I think it is not correct to go and just talk talking about, because for, for, this is what we call the base and the superstructure, the foundation of the house and the roof. You cannot have a, a pre-capitalist society, Karamojong running around stealing cows, Turkanas, all these characters, Pokot running around, uh, uh, and then you come and you pre preach them about uh, 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 these rights of this and that. It, it, yes, you can you can try, but it will not. It it is a problem. <laughs>